Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, Dallas may be the toughest restaurant market in the nation. We'll be talking to a restaurant legend, Alberto Lombardi. He's celebrating 45 years in the business. That's just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company, and we now have over 100 clients, and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team, and the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Well, as you know, Dallas is a very fickle market. You can open a restaurant and be closed in a year if you don't get it right. One man who's gotten it right consistently for 45 years, Alberto Lombardi. Thank you for coming on the show. Well, thank you for having me <laughs> again. <laughs> well, yeah. we were talking before the show, yeah. and you can't believe 45 years. I can't believe it. You know, you went so fast, and really to think about, uh, you know, my early day, you know, then uh, I remember then... Uh, I came to Dallas, I used to manage the Venetian room, and uh, my wife got pregnant, and I had my first baby, and I had to say, my God, what I'm doing now? I need to do something else. And I opened my first restaurant, and my daughter was just six months old at the and, time. And that was 1977? 1977, yeah. That's incredible. We've got some, yeah. we've got some pictures of your family, and I love family companies because I have one myself. Uh, <laughs> I love the picture of you in the bowl of in spaghetti. The bowl of spaghetti <laughs> you know? yeah. I think it's time that you do that again. We could probably yeah. work that up. Yeah. <laughs> So as you look at your family, uh, yeah. you, uh, you must be so proud of what... Yeah, this going back so many years, you know, all the, you know, to see pretty much a life go in front of you. You yeah. just see it coming in, you know, that's beautiful, you know, this is the most, the, the biggest accomplishment, I would say, is my family. Mm. You know, having four beautiful kids, seven grandkids, a lovely lady, a lovely wife. Yes. It's beautiful. Well, I got to brag on Mr. Lombardi because he, attention to detail, he, he visits every single restaurant and, and your team takes its lead from you because they know what you expect. And in Dallas, as you know, you have a bad meal that you could lose a customer. Oh, yes. You know, you have to, you have, first thing you need to care about, about what you're doing. This is the number of things. So this comes from inside of you, you know, to really love and uh, also choosing the right people. Yes. You know, we have people that have been with us. We are very lucky being with us. I would say more than 100 people from uh, 20 years to 40 years. Really? We still have about 100 people. That's Out of 700 people working for us, there is still about more than 100 people that have been with me, part of the family for so many years. Yes. And that's what makes it really special. Because our restaurant, you know, if you go to a restaurant, people feel... Uh, the customer feel very comfortable to come to come in because they know everybody. They know the bus boy, they know the chef, they know the manager. And you make it very that's the difference I would say is the most important thing is to stay in business for a long time. Yes. It's about service. Well you surprised yeah. me because earlier the show earlier uh, I asked Mr. Lombardi if uh, this past year was the roughest year of all because of COVID and yeah. how much it hit restaurants. But you say September 11th. Yeah, yeah. September 11th was the difficult part, the difficult, more difficult than today. The reason because most of our restaurants were in tourist places, and uh, nobody was traveling anymore. Meaning our restaurant overnight went down 50 percent. Amazing. And uh, then I promised myself we have to reinvent ourselves and say no more restaurants in tourist places. Yes. Only places where, uh, restaurants where the people live, mm. neighbor places, urban places. Yes. And since then it's been uh, fantastic. This year, COVID, of course, uh, the first three months last year they were very rough, you know, but we adjust ourselves and uh, with meal to go and everything else and when we reopen the door again now we'll be more busy now than ever 
Really? I love you know, that you're, you're, yeah. you're continuing to create. We're going to show some of your delicious food on the screen because it's mouth-watering. And uh, you must always be creating. Like when you're out um, sampling another restaurant, are you inspired? Do you think of things that you could do? Oh, yes. You know, it's nice to always travel. Yes. You know, I remember when uh, not too long ago we went to London. We went to visit a couple of restaurants, beautiful restaurants. And uh, that's where uh, I got the inspiration of doing a Chinese restaurant. Nice. You know, and uh, the name, I went to see this beautiful restaurant called Park Xinhua. Okay. In London. And then I said, we need to do the same thing in Dallas. And uh, now we have a location and we're going to open in May these new places over there. You know, it's going to be amazing. And also, this is a special year especially next year because we're going to have uh, 45 years anniversary and we have a new restaurant coming up at the star called lombardi cucina italiana love it i'm bringing back the name lombardi you know first thing because it's my name second also is because vince lombardi <laughs> is a and we are in a football environment over there, meaning I think it's going to attract many people just because of Lombardi name, you know. I it's, think, I think so, it's yeah. absolutely brilliant. Yeah. And, and you were telling me that you've, you, you've also got a concept in Houston? Yeah, Houston, we're going to open a Mediterranean restaurant called Regine. You know, this was uh, another restaurant that used to be in uh, Paris and New York during the 80s, very famous one. And it's going to be a Mediterranean one, yeah. open also in May. Another three restaurant, you know. You know, many people ask me, why are you doing some more restaurants? They say, first thing, because I love it. You know, because I love to come up with something uh, new all the time. Plus, it's nice to get up in the morning, have something to do. I you think, I, I think yeah. it, you inspire me because uh, I think you stay young because you're always inventing. And there's a, there would be a lot of people at this stage in their career, 45 years, where they would start to coast or level yeah. off, and, and you're accelerating. Yeah, I mean, as long as, again, as you love what you do, as long as you know how to delegate, yes. you know, because otherwise you would go crazy, you know, you don't want to do that. And uh, having a terrific team around me of young people where they want to grow yes it's very exciting do you, you, get, know? you still get nervous uh, around opening night when it's your first night for a new concept do you get butterflies no i think after a couple of glasses of wine i think <laughs> <glasses of> wine. <laughs> i admire this man because victoria and i were up at uh, kai which is at yeah. uh, legacy west and it was a saturday night and it was probably about 10 o'clock at night and there you are, working the, the crowd, shaking hands, and, and that, that speaks volumes about your dedication. Yeah, this is it's nice. I'm a, I love to to be around people. Yes. You know, things, uh, it's like you, it's Thank the you. same thing, you know. Is uh, uh, There is certain people that are, I would say that is a natural gift. You are born with that kind of things over there. It's difficult to teach. Yes. You know. You know, I think I remember, I think I got everything from my mother. My mother, she was a people person too, the same thing, you know. Wow. Okay, yeah. tell, tell, you have uh, several children and several grandchildren. Yeah, I have uh, four beautiful kids, you know, Anna, Laura, Sarah, and Luca, my youngest one, then is 17. Then I have seven grandkids. Is that right? Yeah, that's why I'm still working. This one other reason why I'm still working. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you to remember <laughs> all their names. Seven is a lot of grand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's right, just me, nice. What's it like working with your kids? Actually, they're nice. Uh, you know, they come to the office. Everybody has their own uh, yeah. things to do. Is they are very, it's very peaceful. Nice. You know. Do you sense that they feel the great uh, weight of responsibility? The Lombardi name is an important name, and uh, they represent you. Yeah, I think uh, they are. Uh, I think they are very proud of what we accomplished together, and uh, and of course they want to be part of that. That is very important. They want to be. They want to know. So when there is a new concert, they want to know. 
the detail, they want to know everything, I think it's good. Yeah. Well, yeah. congratulations on establishing such an amazing brand over all of these years. We only have about a minute left. What, what are some final thoughts? Okay. Final thought is then uh, we have 13 restaurants, we have another three coming up, we have uh, holiday coming in, please come and see us, we're doing beautiful uh, private party, <laughs> you know, we have uh, different type of cuisine, we have French, Italian, Asian, and Mediterranean. And I can and, vouch, I, you, yeah. the holidays are amazing. We held our company yeah. Christmas party a couple of years ago at your uh, bistro uh, uh, restaurant. Yeah. And uh, just impeccable service, great, great food. And also we have some music too, you know, yes. like when you go to Kai, when you go upstairs, we have a beautiful lounge, we have beautiful music, fantastic people. Thank it's you. nice. And nice to be in Dallas. Absolutely. Nice to be in Texas. Well, thank you for, yeah. for raising the bar on, uh, on fine food in Dallas. Thank you so much, Alboter Lombardi. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. You bet. We'll end with the website, which is LombardiFamilyConcepts.com. Uh, please check it out. Thanks, Mr. Lombardi. Pleasure. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.